yeah, very happy with the win. Um, just not necessarily the performance we wanted in that second half, but I mean, like, sort of a few things to work on there, discipline-wise, and, and uh, a couple of sort of uh, missed kicks, missed opportunities, stuff like that. A little bit scrappy, you know. But very happy with the win against a tough Queens team. Yeah, mate. Was, uh, I came on with sort of 30 minutes, and I know it's just good to get a run around. I've been hammy sort of uh, slowing me down for the last couple of weeks, so it's good to get out there, and yeah, it's good to get a try. It's sort of on the drive title, so no, it's good. Uh, yeah, very happy. Um, you know, we played we played well in patches. Uh, we made a few few errors. You know, technically we, we made a few mistakes, but um, you know, boys showed great character to uh, pull it through in the end. You know, Quinns came back well, and uh, you know, we had to uh, really push hard to, to get the win in the end. Yeah, it's really good to get my first senior appearance. Yeah, it's really good to get a win as well at home. It was a tough game, we gave them a little bit, but then managed to stick out of the end. Really good to, to get a first win and in the LV Cup and that, so yeah, so it's really good. Very happy, this is, uh, I work hard, very, very hard to, to come back uh, to well, Edwards and, and the staff. Uh, trust me to, to coming back, so I uh, train hard. This is the game, so I'm very happy. Well, I think you, uh, I think you saw for yourself. He's a fantastic talent. He, um, he's come off the back of being captain of the England in the twenties uh, and winning that competition, and. He had a really good pre-season. I think the way that he's led the Storm team this year with um, with maturity in the way he talks, um, he leads by example on the pitch, and he's a very calm influence for for people who are actually older than him and more experienced than him. So uh, this was a step in the right direction for him leading the LV team today, and um, I think again he showed that he's uh, he's pushing on very quickly. The value of everybody, whether you're 18 and just coming into our system in the academy, or whether you're uh, 35 years old like Neil de Kock is, you know, if you've got something to say, that opinion is is valued and uh, and, and taken on board. Um, I think the great thing about today was, even though we did have the experience there, we had the likes of Scott Sperling, who's come out of the academy system, starting at Hooker, and Marrow in there, and the likes of Ernie Joubert and Jack Berger and Jim Hamilton. If there had been tough choices, I don't think there would have been any hesitation in Maro talking to Ernest and, and getting his opinion. Uh, the boys will let Maro lead, but if he asks for advice, of course, he'll get it. Well, I think of the positives, you know, we, we created so much in the first half and unfortunately had two tries disallowed, but I was happy with the way things were going. It was just maybe we were forcing a few things, um, which, which, which let us down in that area when we actually had him in the final third. But on the whole, I was all right. Credit where credit's due. Harlequins a good side, and in, in the second half, you know, our aim was to get down into their half and start again, and and they stopped us from doing that, and um, they took their chances when they got their opportunity. So you know, let's not take credit away from Harlequins. Um, they had quite a bit of experience in there as well, along with a lot of talent. So credit where credit's due. I think every single competition that we go into at the club, we take very seriously. Um, I think if you look at how we've gone about our, our A League this year. And uh, the personnel that play today, you know, we're not a team that just wants to, to put the numbers in there. You know, occasionally we are going to get uh, players from the youth system to come in and, and gain experience, but we want to win every single competition that we're in. 